Hello, and welcome to Cleave Excel and Has No Right. This is part two where we do Funko News of the Week, uh, what has happened in the past week. Uh, past weeks only because it's been a while since I have been making this segment, so that's why this is a two-part series. If you missed part one of all the pops I collect this week, over 26 I think it was, uh, or 25 plus one, so you can say over 20, uh, over 25, so over 25 pops. And um, I will be able to tell you guys my thoughts my, and what I think of what's about to hit the airwaves right now. Um, I haven't done the Funko news in a while, but it is um, something I enjoyed to, to do. To uh, show you guys and tell you guys and educate myself on what the pops that are coming out and the ones that are pretty much in stores right now. Uh, you can be able to go get the uh, uh, green suited Spider-Man, there's the, the new Power Ranger pops out, Pink and the Brain, some of the Animaniac ones. Like those ones have already been out. Um, I know that the there should be a, what's his name? Uh, Luke Cage. Luke Cage pop should be out uh, sometime this week. I've been seeing many photos of him on the local airways. Um, starting out, the Hakaria pop uh, things that they've been making. I don't know who the hell buys them. Uh, these look like they might be the mini ones. I oh, know. It doesn't say it's the mini ones. I don't know who the hell in their right mind collects Hakaris. They cost $80. They're on the website uh, for Funko forever. The same ones. There's, there's, you can get Comic Con ones right now on their website, and they're all there. No hesitation. No one's buying them. Quit making them. And that is the Night King uh, Hakari. Nobody cares. Quit making those. Now these. Dorbs. Um, you got a Game of Thrones Dorbs. Um, listen. Dorbs are for people who do not, who are, I mean, who are late to the Funko game and is too cheap or don't have enough money to go buy Funko Pops. So take the Dorbs out of your life. That's the only reason people collect the uh, freaking Dorbs is because that is the two reasons right there. They got no money and they're too cheap even for their dreams. So they are literally dreaming that they'll never have a certain pop in their life. So why don't they hop on the dorm trade? All right. Um, they also made action figures. Um, you probably heard me say this in the previous videos of the Funko News. I don't like that they make action figures because one of the best things about Funko Pops is you're able to take it out of the box and then be able to replace it without anybody else knowing. Now, my iPad just froze. So I have to go take a freaking break now. Be right back. I guess we'll make this a commercial break. Go. Don't miss your shot to see Long Island's next superstar boxing champ. This is Cletus, the Hebrew Hammer Seller. I'm expecting my boys from Long Island and my hometown, Shirley, New York, come out. How am I supposed to run a show? With a damn broken iPad. It comes supporting. BAB presents Star Boxing Rock and Fights 24. Friday night at the Paramount in Huntington. Featuring the 10 round main event starring Long Island's own WBC International Lightweight Walterweight Champion, Cletus Selden, the Hebrew Hammer. Feast your eyes on the WBAB Ring Girls from Cactus Salon and Day Spa. World class professional boxing. Right here on Long Island. Star Boxing Rock and Fights 24. Get tickets and info at WBAB.com. Fix my damn iPad. How am I supposed to run the Funko News without it? Alright, welcome back. We left off with the action figures. Like I say, it sucks. Why do you make action figures? Uh, there is so many different ones. Uh, the only benefit I can see is if they have a exclusive that does not make action figures at all, then it's worth it. So if they were starting to make, uh, I don't know, like some of them suck. Like, alright. This one says, Game of Thrones Gift Guide. <sighs> HBO's on it. Um, I can see that being somewhat decent because they don't make Funko Pops uh, uh, figures of them. But the uh, Jon Snow one, nah, that's whack, man. Don't buy action figures from them. Um, Zorn. Like, Zorn, they made an action figure of him. That is ridiculous. Um, don't, don't do that. Don't buy those at all. These things <sighs> look like... 80s 90s toys and now they're trying to figure them because you know if you can buy them you're not going to open them so why even buy them and these if you have ever collected action fingers uh they go have a plastic that sticks out and they don't stand up 
They're a pain in the ass to store. It's hard to display. They are well not worth it. I have all my Bucky O'Hares and Cowboys and Moo Maces in boxes or hidden underneath the TV so that um, because they don't stand up and display. And they're in and they're in display boxes. Uh, next up, all right. So next up is the Son of Zorn. The original new Fox show, Son of Zorn, is getting the Funko treatment. A warrior from the fictional Zephyr, Zephyr, I don't know, Zorn must reconnect with his ex-wife and teenage son in Orange County, California. I don't even know how that works with this character. He's wearing nothing. Zorn pop figures come in the three forms. Zorn with a sword, Zorn with hot sauce, and Zorn office attire available exclusively at Hot Topic. Not watch the show and it sounds horrible. Or follow Zorn into battle with action figures. Collect Zorn in his classic Zephyr outfit or in his office attire. No, don't. Don't do that. Now they have this too. Coming soon. Make sure you watch Son of Zord. They all do episodes of Son of Zord, December 11th. I'm not even going to tell you a time, but it's on Fox. Because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not part of that. Again, here's another thing. I'm actually going to read what they actually wrote for this. Hikari Friday. I know they do these on Fridays. First Order Stormtrooper. I don't even... This one's limited to 5. They should limit it to 10. 10. People buy it then. Because if you don't get in the first 100, they're not even worth anything. You can't even check the damn number on them unless you open the damn box. Which is tape. Today we're introducing a new Hikari figure. First to Order Stormtrooper. Uh, you're a little late to the party, guys. Appearing in Star Wars. So you have a choice to go buy this one right now. Or you can buy the Comic-Con one uh, from San Diego Comic-Con on their website. You guys choose. And they keep building these. Uh, guard the... Uh, Star Killer base for the First Order. This Akari feature uh, figure features the First Order Stormtrooper in a standing, standard cold weathered armor. It's limited to 500 pieces worldwide, so it's probably like a, actually probably is 500 because no one's buying it. Um, the fanatic of the week is these losers. Am I gonna put them up? Some Oregon person. Um, the thing, the display is made out of two by fours that they made in the house. Ugh. Uh, next up, very interesting, um, very interesting pops coming up. All right, the new pops that are coming out um, have definitely hit the Funko Airways with very uh, a lot of excitement. But I've seen a very majority of fans give negative feedback for, and that's the South Park Fox. Uh, South Park Fox. Uh, South Park Pops, excuse me. Bob, Pop TV South Park. The massively popular animated show South Park is coming to Pop Vinyl. I actually liked South Park, the first movie, never watched the show, never watched the full show, and never seen any other movie. Uh, this series features the moral, mor morally uh, questionable Cartman, made of butters, a tiny Canadian Ike, uh, Brof, Brofsky and a and the Vigilante Mysterion. Uh, you can also collect Zombie Kenny available exclusively Hot Topic coming this winter. So these pops might be out actually this week or maybe the week after. So definitely look out for them. Uh, so you got Butters, Cartman, uh, Ike, uh, Mysterion, and Zombie Kennedy. Kenny. Um, I, will, I will probably pick these ones up. Just even though I don't watch the show because it's the animated series and that's pretty cool um, for anything that's animated and they uh, make a pop score. Um, people have been hating on this because they didn't like the selection of pops that they chose. This is wave one. You. <sighs> this is, <laughs> um, I probably just blurred out everything I just said because uh, <sighs> I got Pokemon collectors in this damn uh, group. So uh, those are the pops that you all get, will get, and that was page one. So let's go back over to page. Uh, well, that's page two. Let's go to the let's go to the last page in page one. All right, let's get back to page one. So now let's talk about um, new Nartu Shipu Shipadoon pops. 
I have no idea what the hell these are. I think every TV show in history will have a pop after it. Uh, all new, not troll, I can't even say it, are coming to Funko. The series includes Nada Naruto with the Razigan Neutros Team 7 cohorts. Oh, this is so bad. If you're gonna look out for Neutros exclusive variants uh, at GameStop, go ahead and keep my eye off. And Hot Topic, don't even go. Don't go to Hot Topic. Go to right the GameStop you. Now these pops are interesting and ones that I will be collecting and many of you uh, who are my age, 90 kids, will be collecting as well, 100% without a doubt, even if it costs uh, a pretty penny or not. Pop animation, Ren and Stimpy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. It's Ren and Stimpy. Uh, the, the psychotic Chihuahua and dim-witted cat are the latest addition to the pop animation family. So with these pops coming out and, and the Animaniac pop being out, and I was also told, uh, I don't know if it was actually listed on here, that there are more pops, cat, dog, um, Rugrats, um, any, pretty much any Nickelodeon film, uh, show that was released in the 90s, they pretty much are going to be making a Funko punk Pops for them. So, there's going to be a lot of common Pops. We're going to have to make uh, more room somewhere. I've told Punky already. So, this is one of the good things I liked. And this is something that they should have did with the Duck Dodgers series. Um, they made a Ren and Stimpy. Uh, let me read it real quick, quick for you first. Both Ren and Stimpy have limited chase variants. See, right there in the first sentence. They should have done this for all of the Duck Dodger series pops. Uh, they only made the two with uh, the Duck Dodger and the Space Ghost. They should have had the canine and who's the other one? Uh, Marvin as well as the chase figure. Metallic, I don't know why they didn't do that. They should do that on every figure that they ever, ever make a chase figure, uh, uh, one chase for. Because for instance, we talked about the uh, Power Ranger pops. I know um, they're gonna make all of them metallic. Uh, they've already started, they think they only have two left, and I pretty much know when they're gonna release it, during the, when the movie comes out, and when the, um, when the DVD releases, because that's what they do, these goddamn Funko people. But it makes sense uh, in the business, but damn point. Um, so you have the regular uh, brand, uh, then you have a Chase variant, which is not metallic, he looks like more of like a, I would say like a cow, and then you have Ren as a regular character, and um, Stimpy, well you have Stimpy as a regular character, and Stimpy as a, the same character, looks like he has like, I don't know, like a cow theme base to him, and he is the Chase, uh, these two are pretty cool, uh, another thing about Chase figures, wait to, wait a while before you buy them, um, if you, unless you get them in the store. They have been releasing more chases and reruns of chases now more than ever in the past. Uh, you can literally get these pops, um, like the Space Coast ones now, for like $25. And the, uh, the Duck Dodgers ones, that's, and then they get it for like $25. It's brutal. I spent 50 bucks for them. Just because they made another release to the wave to them and they got back out in the stores and people are finding them again. So wait it out before you pick up Chase figures. Um, you might have to wait a few months, unless you really want them, don't get them for $50. Um, don't do it. Uh, next up, um, Lost. I believe this series has ended. I never watched it. I heard it was a very popular show in the past. And it's pretty cool that they're making figures for them just because they probably don't have any memorabilia like that. Just probably just shirts and hats and that's it. So. The critic, uh, critically acclaimed TV show Lost is coming from Funko, soon to Funko. This series features uh, surviving passengers of ocean, oceanic uh, air, uh, airlines, flight 815, Jack, Kate, Sawyer, Hurley, uh, John Lockyer. You can also collect other island drillers and Jacob and the man in black come and collect them all in the winter. I wonder why they chose those guys differently. Uh, the Pops, uh, they look pretty cool. They look like regular people and uh, their, their characters have not watched the show. I've only known it because I watched uh, This Is 40 and the girl on the show was watching it. Okay, I haven't seen this one. This one's new. Available now. 
Funko Funkcast Episode 1. Play on SoundCloud. Uh, looking or should be, list, say, listening for a new way to catch up the latest information about Funko products and news. Well, look no further. We started a podcast. These people at Funko can start a podcast as much as they want because nobody's going to watch them because the people that they have hired are completely boring. The people who do the unboxing on their on their, uh, their, uh, their subscription boxes are horrible. The one girl is ridiculous. The guy has no personality. The girl and the guy look like after watching them over the past year, they're probably hooking up now. And they think they're hot shit and they have no personality again and they are so boring i can't even, i don't even watch them anymore i couldn't even watch it i, I hated watching it just because i don't want to see the uh exclusives that they got and how what they thought of it because maybe they give me ideas that i can use for, for, my, for myself when i open them up but they have nothing they have zero anything oh wow what do we have here it's like the first time they ever seen it they didn't do a we got a Funko for you. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, remember that? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, man, here it is. Staff, can you put this on this display for me and take a picture of it and put it into the image while I talk? Yes. Wow, what's the next one? Wow, I love this pop. Oh, my God, that's my favorite character. Well, that's what you get inside this month's subscription box from Funko. So that is that. Uh, I'll call it Friday. They have another, uh, a, another stormtrooper, different colors. No one cares. And then they have their weekly Funko fan of the week, which is some loser Knox. That is all for this week's weekly Funko roundup. Part two news. Let me know if you guys like this segment so I can keep it up in the future like I've done in the past and um, get it back to where it belongs here. A clear seldom has no life. Boom! Somebody fix my goddamn iPad. Come on. I forget if I do this. Definitely need a new one.